Hello, uh, this is uh, Jacob Selden uh, checking in. Uh, just wanted to get started on um, my mentor classroom evaluation. So, uh, some stuff to talk about. A description of the student population uh, within the classroom. Uh, well, we have a really varied student population. Uh, the class that I teach in is in Awatuki, so it's a very wealthy area. So there's a whole bunch of different kids. There are some Indian students, there's some Chinese students, there's a student from North Korea, there are all sorts of ethnic students, there are a couple black students and African American students, there are also um, many Caucasian students as well as students from every part of the world, uh, many students from China, Japan, uh, there's a student from Korea, South Korea as well. Uh, so there's tons and tons of students, uh, I'd say pretty even boy-girl population. Uh, the classes are about 30 for the non-gifted, about like 25 for the gifted. Um, I would also say that uh, there was one student with a disability uh, who used to come in, uh, her disability actually, she, she wasn't getting much out of the class, she would just sit at a, a computer in the back, so she's no longer uh, sitting in on the class. She's now um, in a different uh, room during that time, as they believe that's like a better use of her time. Uh, the classroom is set up with uh, desks in straight lines, but they are, are made so that they can be moved into groups of four really easily. So every student has their own individual desk, but like they can quickly move into groups of four, and they do this all the time. Uh, the classroom uh, has a wall of art on one side. It's all student stuff, and then at the back there's like, a table they can use. There's bookcases with textbooks and DBQs, all sorts of resources all around the classroom. Um, and it's a really cool classroom. Uh, there's like all kinds of uh, processes there that are set up for the kids to like look at the different materials they have or like decide how they want to come out of the project. There's a lot of really free independent group work. Uh, the gift kids all do project-based learning as like a driving factor. That's like what distinguishes them from the other kids is that their learning is much more self-driven. Um, the rules and consequences. If a kid is acting out, there is an ISI, which is like detention. Uh, other rules and consequences that are in the classroom is uh, there are no uh, like disrespecting other students when speaking. When someone's talking, talking that's supposed to be like respected student or teacher that needs to be listened to. Uh, they do a thing where you say Alta, and then the kids are supposed to say Dania. That's like um, essentially uh, it's like calling out like the the loudness in the classroom. Everyone's supposed to get quiet and respond to you after that. So that's used to like redirect attention. Um, but there are all sorts of levels of uh, discipline in, in school and in the classroom. Above ISI, they do suspensions. They also do um, uh, expulsions, where they remove the student from the district altogether. Um, I would say that the protocol in the classroom is uh, pretty clear. Uh, the students understand what they're supposed to do and what they're not supposed to do. Uh, there is a very positive learning environment in this classroom. Uh, like the students all have like a good respect for each other. Mr. Collins, my uh, mentor teacher, is very well respected by the students. Um, so he's always uh, a disciplinarian that's viewed with respect from the students. Um, he's taught me that some of the best uh, redirection is simply silence. And if there are kids that are talking over you, one thing that you can always do is just be quiet. He has a podium at the front of the class where he stands sometimes, but he chooses to move around the room much more than stand at the front of the class. So he tries to teach from multiple different points. But anyways, guys, I'm going to let you go. That's my classroom investigation. Uh, have a good one.